How is it going everybody? This is RBT coming at you with a video where I wanted to share with you guys my amazing experience at Alabama's 8A Spring Game. This should be a relatively short video, so let's get right into it. If you if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, which my links are at S3RTR for both of those social media sites, you're probably going to know what I'm going to talk about in this video. But if not, I have to share this with you. Okay, so my friend asked me about a week ago. I was, I was kind of planning on going, kind of not, depending on if I had somebody to go with. Uh, my friend asked me if, he, if I wanted to go, and I was like, yeah, sure. So I was expecting just to go up there, watch the game, have some fun, watch some football, uh, go around Tuscaloosa a little bit, and that was going to be that. Well, we get there, watch the players come in and everything. We decided to go in the uh, players only, a uh, family only gate where the players' families go in and uh, get their, their passes and everything and go into locker rooms and, and everything like that. So we walk in there and, oh, we see two uh, two people that we that we know. And the picture can be on the screen now. As you see, I got to meet C.J. Mosley. And if you saw there in the little corner, we saw somebody else. Picture's going to be on the screen now. Some guy named AJ McCarron. Man, they both make me look so short. I'm I'm like five nine, five ten. I'm a little bit uh I'm about average height, but they're both like six four, close to six five, so they made me look like a midget. So that was pretty cool. We got to meet AJ McCarron and CJ Mosley, got to talk to him a little bit. I uh, talked to him a little bit about the NFL like what they're expecting to do in the NFL. So that was pretty cool. So got to meet those two guys and it was awesome. So I thought that was where it's gonna end. But no, we got to walk through the tunnel, like onto the field, and that was awesome. And then we go up into family-only seating, and uh, it had the little backs in the seats. All the families, uh, the the families were around us. I saw Landon Collins' mom. If you don't know, she was the one that's uh, famous for her uh, her reaction to Landon Collins' on-air commitment when he committed on ESPNU during the Under Armour All-American game, I believe. And uh, she didn't look too happy to be there. But anyways, I saw her. That was pretty cool. So just going about halfway through the game, you know, and then I noticed. Somebody sitting right below me. I'm not even kidding. One seat below me. And like maybe a seat to the right. Like I could have stuck my hand out and touched this person. It was this close. It's like this looks a lot like this certain person that I think is, is, is pretty famous. And it was that person. And as you see on this screen. Well you know I didn't think this day could get any better. But you know. Picture on the screen now. Do you Can you tell who that is? That is Catherine Webb baby. I got to meet and take a picture with Catherine Webb. Everybody else around me was scared to take a picture with her once we figure out who it was. Um, after I took a picture with her, these these black guys behind me started giving me, uh, I think it was, I think it was Amari Cooper's family started uh, giving me high fives and stuff, telling me uh, that I was lucky and how they were scared to take a picture with her. But I was the only person to get a picture with her, so that was awesome. She was trying to stay undercover, and I, I, I said something to her. I was like, you're trying to stay undercover, aren't you? And she was like, yeah. And that, that was awesome. Um, so I got to meet Catherine Webb, and also A.J. McCarron's mom was sitting right next to her, so that was pretty cool. So, up to this point, I've met A.J. McCarron, C.J. Mosley, and Catherine Webb. I've seen, I'm, I'm sitting around the families of the members, so, I mean, the family members of the players, so that was pretty cool. The game-wise, it was, I mean, it was kind of boring, uh, I'm not going to lie. Blake Sims was a little bit disappointing, Cooper Bateman was okay, but who cares about the game at this point, right? I already met uh, three mil future millionaires, if not, uh, Catherine Williams probably a millionaire already, but, um, so that's that, so after the game, you know, we go to the families only, uh, after game dinner with all the players, like, we're just walking through the athletic facilities, you know, looking at the hangout rooms, there's players walking all around us, just talking to all of them, just chilling, you know, acting like we're supposed to be there, walking onto the practice field, all these people were outside the practice facilities waiting on our girls. We're just walking right through there, just talking to all the players, acting like we're supposed to be there. So we just go to the family only dinner that had great food, uh, barbecue meat, great macaroni. You know, Barrett Jones is just behind me in line getting the buffet, just chilling, you know. Uh, yeah, he was there. Um, Greg McElroy was there too, just walking around amongst the players. TJ, when I sit down to eat, TJ Yeldon's like right next to me. Uh, they're just all walking around just amongst us, and it was, it was no big deal. So. And we just got to see the facilities. We're just walking around the players like we're no big deal. And that was that. So, wait. Can it get any better? Yeah, it does. Picture on the screen. And as you see, the day is capped off by Catherine Webb liking my photo of me and her on Instagram. Life does not get any better. So, in recap, not just watching football. I got to meet AJ McCarron, CJ Mosley, Catherine Webb. 
and I just I talked to a lot of players outside of that. Just didn't get pictures with them, and that was just awesome experience. Got to just acting like I was supposed to be there. Now you're maybe wondering, how in the world did you not get caught just doing this? I mean, I was just going with the flow. I was just doing whatever, following everybody else, just going with the flow. Nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> really, how I got to do that was because my friend who I went with, his brother is Jonathan Cooks, the second string safety for Alabama, probably going to play a good bit this year. His friend, uh, his family members, one, a couple of them didn't show up, so they let us just go with them. And we took their passes and just went and got to do everything the families got to do. Met all the, a bunch of players. And, I mean, we didn't expect to meet all those people. They just happened to be where we went. So it was just an awesome, awesome experience. Probably a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I mean, the athletic facilities inside were amazing. I went around the weight room, too. So just an awesome experience. Uh, it was definitely a great day, an unexpected day, and and just a, life, a once-in-a-lifetime experience. So... I just wanted to share that with you guys. I uh, didn't make a video recapping the A-Day game, but, you know, about halfway into the game when I noticed that was Captain Rebel, it was kind of hard to uh, to really pay attention. But that's that, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about my A-Day experience. Are you jealous? Are you jealous? I bet you will. I would be, too, if somebody else did that. But if you want to be able to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and stuff like that happens, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Both of my links for those two accounts are at S3RTR. Once again, at S3RTR. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and follow me on those two accounts. Be sure to big hit that like button if you thought that was an awesome, awesome day for me, and I'll keep it at that, guys. T uh, take it easy. Have a great day. Uh, hope you guys who are in college, just like me, are getting ready for your finals. We have a full week left, and then we're done until finals, which are May 7th. So school's winding down, ready for the summer, summer and we're ready for some football. So I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. As always, roll Tyco Socks and your Titans to you. Keep it easy. Peace.